Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Weeks. In this video, we will see how to check if a given number is Fibonacci number. Problem statement says given a number n, how to check if n is a Fibonacci number. Basically, Fibonacci numbers are the numbers defined by the recurrence relation f of n equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. That is, element at any position is equal to the sum of previous two elements. The first two elements are 0 and 1. The first few Fibonacci numbers are listed here. See for yourself. 0 plus 1 equal to 1. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. 2 plus 3 equal to 5. 3 plus 5 equal to 8. And so on. So, if the input is 8, output should be yes because it's a Fibonacci number. Out output should be yes for 34 and no for 41. Let's look at the solution. This is actually an interesting property that can be used to check if a given number is Fibonacci or not. A number is Fibonacci if if and only if 1 or both of 5n square plus 4 or 5n square minus 4 is a perfect square. This is actually obtained by rearranging Binet's formula which is used to calculate nth Fibonacci number. So, if n is 8, 5n square plus 4 is 324 which is a perfect square. For n equal to 34, 5n square minus 4 which is 5776 is a perfect square. But for 41, neither 5n square plus 4 nor 5n square minus 4 is a perfect square. So 41 is not a Fibonacci number. Let's try and to understand the code we, for the solution we just saw. We call this function Fibonacci on each of the numbers 1 to 10 to check which of them are Fibonacci. The statement returns true if 1 of 5n square plus 4 or 5n square minus 4 is a perfect square. To check if a given number is a perfect square, we first find its integer value of the square root and then check if the square of the square root is equal to the number itself, then it's a perfect square. So if true is returned, it means the number is a Fibonacci number and if false is returned, it implies it's not a Fibonacci number. This is the output shown here for n equal to 1 to 10. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave us your comments.